Hey guys, it's me Mike and I'm here with a new series of Ask Me Anything Python which gives you guys a chance to ask me anything about Python programming language and I'll do the best I can to give you the answers. So this week we've got uh, a few different questions that I've taken from previous questions from the various different tutorials that I have on the site and I'll be doing the best to answer that question for you. So here it goes. So the first time we've got is uh, Sanjay Pradeep uh, put a comment on uh, the Python Django tutorial number nine, which is to do with users log in and log out. And he said, thanks for this tutorial. You're welcome. I have some concerns like after logging out successfully, when I press back button, which is in browser, I'm getting the logged in page without, and he's got the full name um, inside of the template language quotes, which literally means it's again logged in without a username. What should not what should not happen, right? Please give me comments to solve the scenario. So what's basically happening here is when you log out from Django, uh, it goes to the login um, view that you would have seen in the source code, and then once that's the case it destroys the session. But if you click back, um, because the code's very simple and I haven't uh, yet introduced the idea of checking whether someone's already logged in or not using the decorator, um, what would happen is that it would just naturally show that page, but obviously it's nobody logged in at that point. So you get a blank space with no details because whilst there is uh, an, an anonymous user, it doesn't have any emails or any passwords or anything like that associated with it. So the trick with that is to then uh, import from Django contrib author, or, sorry, contrib auth decorators. Uh, there's a login required decorator that you can put in there and uh, that will basically um, go just before the views definition. And then that will automatically check whenever there's someone logged in or tries to access that, that URL rather. Um, it'll check if they're logged in or not, and if they're not logged in, it will kick them back to the login page. So the next one we've got is from uh, Cliff I Am, um, and he says, Hi Mike, I followed every single step. This is the, in the basic Python tutorial for functions. He says, I, I followed every single step in this tutorial, uh, this particular video, but I'm getting this syntax error from line 18 to line 22. Kindly help. Um, I can't see your code. So if you want me to debug your code, I have to see your code. Um, to be fair, if you're getting stuck on the functions section, then it's probably a good exercise for you to then uh, hone your skills and spotting little problems like that. Um, because that's a very basic tutorial and you really need to start and develop those skills of, of spotting things like syntax errors or even just spelling mistakes. So um, it's probably best if you debug that for yourself. So then um, we have next uh, Ronan Higgins um, commented on my Django tutorial 23, uh, filtering data by user and sending notifications. He said, I was very disappointed that you didn't run outside and get an ice cream. Really? With those tutorials, um, I record them in my own home. Uh, I haven't got a proper recording studio, and as you can see, this is the best I have. Um, it's a little private room for myself, but sometimes in the summer, the windows are open. So um, basically, you have a situation where the windows are open and the ice cream van comes by, and then the next thing you know, I've got a lovely little chime that's in the background of my tutorials. Um, but seeing as the tutorials are free, you're welcome, Ronan. Okay, so the last one we've got is from uh, Chris Kavanagh, um, who commented on our Python Django tutorials 23, uh, filtering data by user and sending notifications. He said, one thing that kind of confuses me, Mike, is around about 18 minutes and 14 seconds, you say, if no one is logged in, there is no user. I know when I look at my site not being logged in and look at the user request dot user, it shows me anonymous user. So is this a different kind of user? Well, no. 
it's not a different kind of user. It's basically what Django puts in there um, when you're not logged in. And that's how it can tell you're not logged in because there's, there's a user object attached to the request object. But um, once you log in, you have a proper user put on there, which will then have your extra details like an email address and your username and last time you logged in and all that sort of stuff. Um, but in the meantime, when you're logged out, you will still see a user object, but it won't be a valid one. Okay. Right, so that's the last of the questions. So if you want to ask me a question, leave it in the comments box down below. And if you want to see more of this in the series, because I'll be doing one of these every week, then uh, click the subscribe button. And if you learn anything from this tutorial, then click the like button too. Thanks for watching.